uh, Amit's apprehension that the 2,100 crore rupee steel flyer, which was shelved by the government earlier this month, could make a comeback. All of those apprehensions were laid to rest this Monday. The Chennai bench of the National Green Tribunal ruled that the proposed steel flyover is an area development project which needs mandatory environmental clearance. Now, the court directed the BDA not to proceed with it without prior environmental clearance. Srija gets us more. The Congress ruled Karnataka government may have scrapped the co uh, controversial steel flyover project. However, this particular case was still in the NGT court. Now, finally, they have pronounced the verdict, which mentioned that uh, the fact that the BDA or the Congress government cannot go ahead until it receives a nod from the Environmental uh, Impact uh, Notification Board. How, what we also understand is that the state, uh, the especially the National Green Court in Chennai, had mentioned the fact that this particular area that is from Chalukya Circle uh, to uh, Hebal Flyover is a development area but if the government or the BDA has to go ahead and construct a flyover they will need a green signal or a go ahead from the environmental assessment study. In fact this particular news has clearly come as a, a big, huge relief for a lot of green citizens who have been fighting uh, with the Congress rule government who was who in fact wanted to go ahead with this project and remember this project uh, received a lot of flack because the plan was at least 180, uh, that is 812 trees had to be chopped off. Also, it involved a huge cost of nearly 2,000 crore rupees and uh, people had come out in huge numbers protesting against the government because they went ahead with the project without public consultation and environmental impact study. In Bengaluru, Srija for Magic Bricks now.